हरि ओम इन योगा प्रैक्टिसेस वेदर इट इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ आसनस और प्रैक्टिस ऑफ प्राणायाम और प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मेडिटेशन द बॉडी अवेयरनेस द बॉडी पार्ट अवेयरनेस एंड द ब्रीदिंग अवेयरनेस आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस स्मॉल डिस्कशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस बॉडी अवेयरनेस एंड ब्रेथ अवेयरनेस इन दिस योगिक प्रैक्टिसेस सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द बॉडी अवेयरनेस इन्फ्लुएंसेज द ब्रेन इट्स अ रोटेशन ऑफ आर कॉन्शियसनेस सो वी मूव आर कॉन्शियसनेस आर माइंड टू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ आर बॉडी this is in true way connecting our mind to the body that is the meaning of word yog also if you understand it physiologically every body part has a represented area in our frontal lobe the primary motor cortex it's also called sensory motor cortex you can see this diagram in this diagram there's a cross section of this and the area of this cortex is shown and how much area of the cortex is given to particular part attributed to particular part of our body is also shown and you can see this disproportionate disproportionately high level of importance is given to hands lips eyes ears nose and if you see that it's almost representing 70 75 80% of the cortex area so how much importance is given to this fingers hands lips eyes ears nose is very evident considering this if you look at the yoga nidra recommendations by swami satyananda you can see that he has given extreme importance to the awareness of these areas and he has interestingly also given a sequence of how the awareness should move and he says that awareness should start from the right hand and naturally our right hand has a very strong connection in our cortex so also our left hand so naturally these connections are quite active so if you start from this active parts the process of reestablishing or resetting this neural connections with the body parts is easier so if i am paying attention to my hand with the mind a particular part in my sensory motor cortex is also active and along with this the nerve that connects from my hand to this cortex is also activated many times when we are stressed this nerve nerves also remains active and stimulated that's why when we are stressed sometimes our muscles are contracted and they remain in that contracted state for a long time so this body awareness actually clears this nerve pathways and it's like a resetting of that connection so when we start our computer and we are using the computer and then if we overuse it sometimes certain applications don't function we say oh the computer is hanged so what do we do we restart the computer or if the phone is not working we restart the phone why we restart because the restarting is like resetting all these connections and this is exactly what is happening in our brain in this body part awareness or rotation of this consciousness and if we keep doing yoga nidra every day it is like we checking every connection from our brain to the body part and we are checking if it is working correctly so such practice every day may be helpful in resetting and strengthening this important neural connections 
to different body parts muscles joints and naturally it will help us maintain the relaxed a focused and a strong state of our body and mind so this is a very important practice which awakens the sensory motor cortex this rotation of awareness across different parts of our body increases our interoception now what is this interoception is interoception is actually awareness of the sensations that come from inside of our body for example heart rate our awareness of the heart rate or our awareness of the breathing the rate of our breathing the awareness of our hunger thirst the awareness of muscle tensions and overall awareness of our emotional activity many times because we don't have this interoception the body part awareness we are also not very well connected with our emotions we really don't understand that i am feeling irritated or angry inside unless i connect with my internal sensations it is very even it is even very hard to understand our heart rate the heart is beating and the beats are quite strong but we are not really aware of these heart beats because we don't have this body awareness now in meditation in uh, yoga poses body part awareness is a very very important practice many scientific studies are pointing out to the connection of this body part awareness with me- mental and physical health because the more you understand this various signals from the body it helps us recognize and control our emotional and physical states there's a direct link between our understanding of the internal state and our ability to control the emotions or even the physical states for example if we are aware of the tension in our muscles it will become easier for us to actually relax these muscles but if we don't have that awareness that the muscles are stressed then it's very hard for us to actually relax them there have been few more studies where the researchers tried to ask the volunteers if they are aware of their heart beats and then these researchers found out that the less the interoception less the body awareness more was the vulnerability of these participants to the mental health conditions such as anxiety and depression so if you have this signals like understanding of this uh, body awareness less then you are more prone to anxiety and depression because of the obvious reason that if we are not aware of our internal signals of the from the body then it's very hard for us to even understand the anxiety and depression if you are really good at sensing these body signals that is if you are good at this body awareness then you also have a better understanding of the situation and that actually results in we making a right or correct decisions right choices in that particular situation so we can actually respond in a better way in that situation 
there are some researches that point out that if you increase the interoception by techniques such as meditation or such as yoga practice then it can actually reduce anxiety depression and even cravings especially the people when people have addictions the cravings become a very big problem so increase interoception can actually reduce that if you engage with your muscle awareness say focusing more on your arm muscles or leg muscles or uh, back muscles then you feel physically stronger and you feel more capable to deal with threats and this in turn is connected with our sense of self esteem and it also has a link with mental resilience resilience is when we have problems our ability to fight without giving up this also increases when you have a better body awareness so overall if you look at this interoception is basically uh, it's going to make us physically and mentally more healthy and this is all achieved using practice of meditation and to some extent practice of yoga poses pranayama also involves that so the three main yoga practices actually involve this body awareness and this is the benefit of that is the breathing now it is very well known that breathing has breathing is a very interesting process in our body which has the dual control in nervous system there is a involuntary nervous system which is autonomic nervous system this autonomic nervous system we are synonymous with stress and relaxation the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system so this is also controlling breathing that's why when we get stressed our breathing becomes fast if we are relaxed the breathing is slower but this breathing is also controlled by voluntary nervous system somatic nervous system if you decide to take a long deep inhalation we can do that so breathing awareness connects to these two important parts of our nervous system the involuntary and voluntary functions now because of that there are many studies that say that if you are focusing on the breathing it increases your attention the cognitive awareness the awareness of what is happening in our mind the thoughts the emotions the decisions that we are making all these are cognitive processes and we develop more awareness of this also there are studies that say that the breathing awareness also allows us to control our impulsive behavior suddenly we get certain uh, cravings or we get suddenly angry if you are focused on breathing you can control these impulses of course studies are there which talk about decrease in stress anxiety depression as a result of breathing awareness heart rate blood pressure also decreases but some interesting studies are pointing out at increasing the brain size as a result of focusing on the breath regularly of course not in one uh, one practice you will achieve this but if we if we keep doing this breathing awareness practices such as mindfulness meditation or pranayam then there is certain increase in brain size interestingly the genes gene expressions also change as a result of breathing especially the genes that are involved in our immune system function the energy metabolism and the insulin secretion so you're saying basically the immune system will become more efficient and also obesity can be reduced the insulin secretion is uh, insulin uh, is connected with uh, uh, obesity also diabetes also heart diseases and every uh, most of the lifestyle disorders so that can also be changed using just the focus on breathing the next step in yoga nidra now breathing is one of the only autonomic activities 
autonomic activity is the the activity that is controlled through our autonomic nervous system means which is something that is connected with the part of the brain where we have no control but breathing is the only activity which is autonomic but it is again voluntary so we can exert some kind of willful control over it and because of this the breathing can actually have a very positive effect or very strong connection with uh, the imbalances that happen because of the stress uh, and even the response to the stress and that can have a very strong influence through the breathing and which is a very very important thing for us to understand because if we can have some control over this stress response system we can virtually get rid of the stress just by controlling the breathing now these functions that are controlled by the autonomic nervous system and these functions can be controlled to some extent using breathing they include relaxation response of our body then our cardio respiratory system the heart heart beats the respiratory respiration then the blood pressure and even how much the nervous system is excited or uh, deactivated so virtually we can have control over relaxation that is entire muscular system uh, heart lung function blood pressure and even the way we think the way we experience emotions the way we experience positive or negative state of our mind they can be all influenced through the breathing now if we pay attention to breathing our brain areas that are connected to our attention they are activated which is very important because when we are stressed these areas have very less activity or no activity and that is a indication of our distracted dissipated stressed state of our uh, mind also the breathing can increase the activity in the memory areas such as hippocampus this hippocampus area is one responsible for uh, the degenerative disorders later on dementia and alzheimers and other disorders so breathing just simply paying attention to the breathing or practicing pranayam breathing can have such a good effect on the memory centers then learning areas which are again subject to the degeneration over the period of like when we age these areas degenerate like the hippocampus so they are also activated when we are paying attention to breathing so again making sure that these areas will not degenerate fast there are some studies that also say that the brain thickness increases in these areas which is a very good benefit of this focus of breathing and then the last is very important that is the impulse control ability so we can control our negative impulses through the practice of breathing impulses such as anger hatred jealousy even anxiety depression these are all impulses negative impulses that result in negative states now even if you are just focusing on the breathing we do alter the brain waves symbolic of uh, or representative of changes in our states of consciousness for example we get alpha waves when we are uh, focusing on the breath what are these alpha waves they indicate a relaxed state of our mind they indicate no stress 
no negative thoughts emotion state of mind they also represent the creative state of mind and a positive state maybe we can call it a happy state so breathing alone can bring that then breathing also is very very important to stop our mind going into the past going into the future because we are just in that present moment so we really don't have to do anything else if we want to live in the present moment except to focus on the breath otherwise it's very hard to control our thinking process it's very hard to stop our reactions to these thoughts and that create our mood that create that lead to our emotions so breathing can just simply bring our mind into the present moment and reducing all negative states so it is very important that we look at the simple practices that are mentioned in yog in a very uh, serious and sincere way and this is certainly going to benefit us in physical mental health but not only that but also ending the pos- negative states of our experience emotions and increasing improving our skills so we will stop here hari om